This e-twinning project allows our kids based in Belfast to, to meet their peers in Portugal or Turkey or Hungary or Romania. And for children that's providing them with an audience on a global scale, correspondence, communication, display of their work to other children in other countries. So it's exposing their work, it's exposing their own abilities and talents. It's exposing them as well to different cultures, different experiences. Uh, I think that's not only a vital thing, but a very important thing for our children. The main aim of Mindstorm to Brainstorm is improving ICT skills through games, basically for improving building skills, following instructions, and once the robot is built, the kids are taught how to program it. Very good. If I make it mine... You have to move a robot through a course of obstacles, and the robot has to do different tasks. I liked it because I never knew I liked building Lego so much. I didn't really use Lego much, now I want to buy Lego. I hope I get some for Christmas. Whenever we have a chance to, to come online on eTwinning and, and um, we arrange a Skype conference call, for instance, and then our kids actually see the other ones interacting. And at this stage, English and the level of English other kids might speak or might not doesn't really count. What really counts is that moment when they say there are kids, they have got their own face, they look different, but they are still the same, that keeps us going from week to week. I think it is great to do projects with other countries because we can discover and learn from each other. I like interacting with other countries because also we learn about them and what experience they have with building LEGO. Specific project based around robotics, based around Lego robotics, has tied in with our curriculum in terms of our ICT. It also ties in with uh, some of the subject bases in terms of literacy, uh, to some degree numeracy as well. So that, that's been an uh, added incentive for the children. It's provided a very different outlet, an outlet which has allowed them to experiment, to be creative, uh, and to maybe expand upon what would be normal classwork. The E20 project started off uh, simply as an online project. That's developed into the Erasmus uh, project. Spin-off, I suppose, from that as well is that we're now involved in First Lego League. It's also enabled us to expand a little bit into our world around us. At a wider level, then, it builds into our whole international schools policy, which we're hoping to run for the, the full award. And that would add and contribute towards that uh, very significantly as well. That is a good testing ground to establish a strong partnership before you maybe move on to more or other substantial projects through Erasmus. The website and the technology is very amenable, very accessible yeah. and it provides a, an easy platform to establish partnerships between European schools uh, which we've benefited to uh, a great extent. E-twinning has made me think more about being a computer scientist because now I'm more confident and I know that I can do it if I try. Of course! Why wouldn't I think about becoming a scientist or a robotist or maybe even an engineer? Because they're one of the best jobs you can get. You have to be very smart in your brain to get them jobs. And I am very smart. <laughs>